Hi, Chapel kids and family. My name is Sheila Johnson, and I serve in the children's ministry. And I have also attended the chapel for a large part of my life. I started attending the Akron campus with my mom and dad and my brothers when I was only in third grade. So last week, we learned about the 10 lepers that came towards Jesus as he was heading to town. And I think one of the wonderful things about that story is Jesus's power in being able to heal them. Isn't it great that we can read the Bible and learn stories and learn about Jesus and what he has done for others? And then we also can learn about what he has done for us. It's now time to talk about today's lesson, which means we need to put on our biblical thinking caps. Here is mine. Pretty colorful, huh? Do you guys have your caps on yet? As I count to five in Spanish, run and get your biblical thinking cap. All right, I'm gonna start the countdown. Here I go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Great, all right. So before I get started, let me ask you a couple questions. Who is the tallest person in your household? Have you ever been in a place where you wanted to see something and you just couldn't because you were just too small, too short. I have a little dog, it's a little dachshund. His name is Lucky and he just has really short legs. We always have to give him a boost if we want him to see anything, you know, that's pretty high up. Well, our story this week is about a man who wanted to see Jesus, but there were just too many people that were taller than him. So what did he do? He climbed up a tree so he could get a glimpse of Jesus. Do you know what happened after that? Jesus saw him up in the tree and he told him he was planning to come to his house. So since our study comes from the Bible, here is our junior shepherd to help us. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19.10 Thank you very much for the reading. In addition to the Bible, we have the theme of the week. I'm going to say it to you two times and we will say it together as our junior leader signs it. The theme this week is Jesus loves everyone and wants all to believe in him. Jesus loves everyone, and he wants all to believe in him. Jesus loves everyone and wants us all to believe in him. Well, before I leave you today, may I encourage you to use the resources that are available to you for this week? This is a great lesson and there are lots of fun activities to go along with it. Enjoy the coloring pages and the crossword puzzles and the mazes and the other activities. Before I end, let me pray for you and your family. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for your love and for your word. And thank you for all that you have done for us and for our families and for the stories that give us wisdom and help us to learn more about you. I just thank you for our church and I just pray that you would be with all and watch over us and help us, Lord, to grow to be more like you. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening today. And goodbye to all and have a wonderful week and keep warm.